guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So Doja Cat went to her first mat a few days ago. Um, and she's already causing issues. And allegedly, Anna Wintour and another executive is not too happy with Doja. Okay? First, you know, she was doing an interview and she was meowing obnoxiously for no reason. I mean, why can't you just talk regularly for an interview at the Met? It's not that deep. It's like you don't have to play a character. So, you know, allegedly that got back to Anna Wintour. She did not like that. Um, on top of that, you know, Doja Cat was exposed for smoking at the Met. Um, you know, she smokes vape for whatever reason, I guess is addicting. Um, Anna Wintour does not like it when celebrities come to the Met and smoke. What's the best way to be invited and what's the best way to never be invited back again? What really ticks you off, Anna? <laughs> Andrew, I'm going to let you take that oh my one. Gosh. Smoking. 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 Yes, in the smoking. But that's not all. And allegedly, Anna Wintour had to practically beg Doja to go to the Met because allegedly she didn't want to go to the Met. Okay? This was her first Met. She hasn't gone before. You know, it's 50 k per ticket. It do cost to go to the Met, plus hair and makeup. It is expensive. And so with that being said, Doja Cat decided to go to the Met last minute. Okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with going to the... Met Gala last minute. Ice Spice got invited last minute. Um, Looked like she was wearing Fashion Nova. You know, Doja Cat outfit was a little bit better. But um, I think it could offend the executives if you don't take them up on their offer right away. It can offend them. If you try to, you know, say, oh, I'll think about it or I'll see and get back to them later, it could offend them. Because Anna Wintour, she runs Vogue. OK, now, um, will Doja Cat get banned? Well, allegedly, Anna Wintour will be having a conversation with Doja Cat about her actions at the Met that were deemed inappropriate. Um, you know, Doja Cat's making a lot of noise in the fashion industry, but you got to carry yourself a certain way. OK, you cannot disrespect Anna Wintour and her rules. That's a big no, no. I thought Doja Cat was wiser, but I guess not. Now, moving on from that. Your favorite R&B girl, Walmar Yase, said that she wants um, a Body Do remix. And these are the three people that she wants on the remix. Body Do Hive, we Ooh. live Ooh. down for Body Do. My question for you is, if you were to do kind of like an ultimate like girls mix, who would you want on Ooh. Body Do? Okay, I know who I want on Body Do. <laughs> Doja Cat. Ooh. Ooh. Chloe's a nice girl, very talented, but uh, I'm gonna have to pass on that, okay? I want Doja Cat solo music, I want Nicki Minaj solo music, but you know, Ice Spice can hop on it. I wouldn't even be mad if Ice Spice hopped on that, but I'm kind of done with Nicki hopping on other people's songs for 2023. I'm gonna need some Nicki Minaj um, Fifth Thing Thing singles, okay? That's what I want. I'm not interested in the Walmart Yonsei and Nicki Minaj collaboration. Nicki should be collaborating with people on her level like Queen B. Even though um, we've already got, you know, two Queen B collaborations, why collaborate with Walmart Yonsei when we got the real Yonsei? That don't make sense to me, okay? I wouldn't be here for it. Sorry. You know, Ice Spice can handle that. That's an Ice Spice and Chloe Wrecker, Ice Spice, Megan Thee Stallion. That's who she need to go to. Moving on to Cardi B. So it looks like um, a few executives decided to discuss Cardi B's career. Now, this clip is from the Rory and Maul show. Um, you know, they had a podcast with Joe Budden, but then they split and they created their own podcast. He's making money from so many avenues that are not music. I think she's like, I don't even think she's okay, in a rush to return but, to music. But the center of it is music. And no matter what, even if it's just doing festival stages, you need to stay relevant within music in some degree. 
Mm-hmm. We saw her put a single out with Kanye and Dirk, and it completely flopped. That shit ma- sucked. Yeah. But if you're not staying relevant, at least within music, it's tough. Listen, to let's have, let's have a, let's have a real conversation. Features. Let's have a real car- conversation about Cardi. She easily has the best first album career in rap history. Shy. We've never seen nothing like this. Nobody has ever had that much success on their first album. Lauren Hill? I don't know. She doesn't need to put out an album. She doesn't need... That's the thing. She doesn't need to put out an album. Carby, she just put out the most talked about... And when you're talking about in the scale of female rap, the most talked about verse of the year, tomorrow too. Tomorrow it's too. a fire verse. Yeah. Like, everybody is everywhere is rapping that verse. That song is huge because of her. Mm. She, like, I... What? Nah, Where is... Verse, y'all giving me all everywhere. of these, like, fillers. Where is the al- You won best rap album of the year. <laughs> which, which you're saying you don't think she deserved. No, she didn't deserve it. What are you talking about? That's not, not a secret. Come on, man. We're not doing that. Why wouldn't the industry want... Why wouldn't the label want to get out another album? She just won best rap album of the year. And you nothing... No album for five years? When have we ever seen that happen? You have to realize what it takes to put a Cardi B... And again, I don't even know. It's outside looking in. What it takes to put a Cardi B album together? Uh, we know what it takes to put a Cardi B album. And how, a lot of and strings how have to be pulled. And how- so that's what they said on the Rory and Ma show. Um, there was one lady there from Hot 97... Okay, who was caping for Cardi B. Um, Rory actually used to work for Sony Music um, as a marketing exec. I don't know if he still works there, but he has worked at the label. And they sat there and admitted that strings have to be pulled for Cardi B to release an album. Okay, Um, what strings? Might need a little bit payola, just allegedly. You know, that could be a string. You know, you need Partisan Fontaine, the ghostwriter. Um, you know, you need the fudging of the numbers. You need a drop when Nikki drop. You know, there's a lot of strings that could be possibly pulled. So let me know how you guys feel about what they said. The podcast is on their YouTube channel, um, Rory and Maul. Moving on to Scratch Off. So allegedly, Scratch Off's team, because the barbs were dragging her for not going to the Met, um, Scratch Off is trying to go to the Met in 2024, allegedly. Now, if you don't know, Scratch Off has Nicki Minaj's old manager, Cortez Bryant, who used to manage Nicki Minaj for 10 years. And they parted ways in 2018. Um, he was one of the snakes in the camp that she let go with um, G. Robertson, who was also another snake. So maybe, you know, Cortez and her other manager can pull some strings to get her to the mat in 2024. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I just don't think the fashion industry cares about scratch off. Okay, I feel like they should overcharge her for a ticket. Um, If she wants to go, they should ask for 100K instead of 50,000. Because at the end of the day, you're not really that relevant in the fashion industry. You don't have any fashion sense. Okay, you dress like an Instagram model. So it looks like Carisha is trying to smash Megan Thee Stallion again. Um, She talked about it with Jason Lee on his podcast. Um, And here's what she had to say. Megan Thee Stallion. I'm going to smash all day and tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to pass because I'm I'm gay. But she's hot. Megan just gave me like, she really can't like take me up and through there. So have you been with a woman before? Mm Mm-hmm. Sexually, Chase and I've been with a woman before, and you enjoyed it. I love it. Are you bisexual? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I always say that. Yeah, but like you say a lot. You just said earlier. You say a lot of things you don't mean it. You mean you say? No, I really do like girls. I won't be in a relationship with a girl because okay. it's like I'm not bitch girl. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and word on the street, Meg and Carisha have hooked up before. If you guys remember, back in 2021, they were caught kissing. At the EBT um, after party. The pictures um, are all over on Google. Um, so let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I do feel like Carisha a little bit of a clout chaser now. Okay. Um, that's the only way Carisha can really stay relevant is if she attaches herself to somebody like Diddy, Megan. Where's the music? Okay. Did the city thoughts retire? I'm confused. It's always about everything else except the music with the city thoughts. So according to Devil Nation, I mean, I'm sorry, Rock Nation, 
Um, Rihanna's Super Bowl performance in 2023 is the most watched halftime show of all time with 121 million views. Okay, so congratulations to Rihanna. Rock Nation, um, you know, put out this information. And um, a lot of fans are accusing Rihanna and um, Devil Nation of using um, Payola to boost the views. Um, because previously Katy Perry held that spot. But at the end of the day, what do you expect from Rock Nation? Nothing surprises me at this point. What I do know, it definitely wasn't the best performance of all time. Okay, and I don't care what y'all say. I'm not giving out sympathy points because she was pregnant. Okay, because she could have just turned it down. Moving on to Queen B quickly. Fans want Queen B to confess that she has gotten a BBL. They won't let it go. Every other month, people are talking about Queen Bee getting surgery. Okay? Now she's skinny because she's going on tour. People are still questioning, you know, her body. To me, Queen Bee, if you watched her career for the past 20 years, um, she's always been thick. Queen Bee has never really been skinny. But do I feel like she might have got some things done to maintain her body, being that she is a performer? Of course, you know, I feel like she might have gotten her boobs done, if anything, you know, to make sure they're sitting, but I don't think she needed to get her butt done, but I just don't understand why people care so much about Queen Bee getting surgery. All these artists get surgery, even the male ones. I can name a few male artists that have gotten surgery on their body. Okay, let's talk about that. Next, I just wanted to say congratulations to one of the members in the Mumbling Cackling Crew, um, Missy the Icon. Um, she will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the first female rapper to achieve this. So congratulations to um, Missy the Icon. I think it's well-deserved. Um, you know, she is a legend in the game and she has written for a lot of different artists so I do feel like it is well deserved and to me she does deserve her flowers so congratulations to Missy um I got some new videos on Patreon some tea over there that you guys may like link will be in description and I will see you guys in the next video have an amazing day